Are you wondering how to create a dashboard in monday.com? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create a dashboard along with sharing some tips and suggestions along the way. Now, before we begin in the actual build of the dashboard itself, it's really, really important that you have two things in place. Firstly, you have all of the boards or projects that you're going to be pulling the data from. So for the purpose of this demo, I've created three separate projects and I'll walk you through those now. Uh, so we've got, essentially, I've, I've tried to keep this as basic as possible. I, all projects are exactly the same. They've just got different names. So they're all duplicates, but the same process applies. What you essentially need to have in all of your projects that you want to pull uh, data from for the dashboard is you need the same columns. So as an example, all of these projects have a status column, all of these projects have a priority column, a duration column, planned effort, budget, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's the first thing you need to have in place. You need to have your boards or projects and you need to have corresponding columns in all of them. The next thing that you absolutely must kind of consider before you even build your dashboard is what is it that you want to report on? What do you want to show on your dashboard? So you do have to have an idea, maybe it's specific KPIs uh, for, for instance, you might want to know what the budget is across all of your, your projects. That's just one example. So have a little think, brainstorm, document down what you want to report on. At that stage, you will be ready to create a dashboard. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this, but the best way is to create the dashboard within the workspace uh, that you uh, essentially want to, to have for the reporting. So as an example, this is the workspace I've got for all of my projects. I'm actually going to create the dashboard in this workspace. But if you've got other workspaces, you might need to select them via this drop down. So it could be, as an example, you just have a workspace for projects. You might have another workspace for reporting and then you'd have to, you know, select the reporting workspace and then you'd essentially do this next step. So once you're in the workspace, you want the dashboard to be to be created in. Click the plus uh, add item to workspace button and then you want to select new dashboard. Give your dashboard a name. So I'm gonna call this Portfolio Overview because I'm looking for an analysis of all of the projects in this portfolio. But yeah, that, need, that make this as specific as it needs to be for your particular reporting use cases. At this point, you can choose between main or private in terms of its privacy. So here it, it will be visible to everyone in your account, private. Um, it'll only be selected team members or just yourself. Sometimes it's best to build in private first and then share it when you're kind of happy with it. But let's just put it as main for now. Click create dashboard. Now at this point, you need to connect your boards to this dashboard. In other words, what boards are gonna be feeding this dashboard? Where is the dashboard gonna be collecting data from? So at this point, you can do a couple of different things. You could report just on one project you could report on two projects, or you could report on three or more, whatever it is in your account. So for the purpose of this demo, I want to report on all three. So I'm just gonna select all three. But as I say, if you wanted to just do two, you could do that as well. Then you're gonna hit done. So now monday.com understands exactly where it's gonna get the data from. So here is the name of the dashboard. If you wanted to change it at any point, just left click in here and then you can change it. We can also uh, add to favorites here as well if we wanted to find it at a later date. Now, the main way to build your dashboard is via the Add Widget button. To the right of that is the data sources. So if you did want to change it at any time, just click on that button here and then you'd basically select from this list here. You can also search as well if you, you know, have got a specific name. Maybe you've got lots of different um, files within your account then sometimes you need to search. Now, at this point, we need to start creating our widgets. So you can either click this button or this button, same thing happens. And you essentially just need to build out the dashboard based on these various different elements. So there's charts, numbers, battery, Gantt, and a files gallery as well. And there's also some apps, external apps, which you can leverage, which will be either held within monday.com or external third-party apps. If you click on more widgets, um, you do get some potential other widgets that you may want to include on your dashboard. They're not as commonly used, but they can be useful. So for instance, a calendar. You could put a calendar on your dashboard. You could put a timeline, you know, an overview. So let's start with an overview because that actually would make sense for this particular 
portfolio analysis. I want to see an overview of all, all of the projects. So I'm going to click Add Widget. And you will see here we have uh, the overview and it's pulled it all into uh, one place. I don't even need to set anything up because it's being driven from these uh, particular boards. So it just knows exactly what to pull in. And you can add future projects here if you wanted to. But you can see here we've got the name of the project, the status, the progress and the dates. If you click the more options button, now this is a key thing to do for each of the widgets that you're setting up. This is how you essentially uh, update them and change them to suit your needs. So as an example, let's just say we didn't, you know, if I click settings, we can change what we pull through essentially here. So choose which status columns to include. So of course we want it to be status. Um, choose which dates to include. Now we've got a timeline at the moment, but we could change this to completion date as an example. So that's how you'd manipulate the um, the the widget itself. You go into settings and you start uh, changing some of these um, drop downs, if you like. But I wanted it to be I want it to be timeline for now. In terms of boards, again, you can choose which boards are connected to this widget. And in terms of groups, uh, these are the groups that are kind of in the underlying uh, projects, well, boards. So these are the different kind of phases, if you like. We've got planning, execution, and launch. This is where the tasks are assigned in those projects. So that's what you can do here. And then when you're kind of finished, you can close that off. So here, um, we're kind of happy with it. At this point, you can also kind of manipulate that widget in terms of its size on the screen as well. So um, if you let go, it will kind of readjust to suit the size that you've kind of specified. So now I've got an overview. I'm gonna rename this to um, portfolio overview or something like that. Just give it a descriptive name, make it kind of really, really clear. Um, and we're kind of happy with that. Next, you want to add another widget. So I want to have a quick Let's have battery now. Let's just show you how kind of battery works. So battery, as the name suggests, shows you in battery format, um, different, you know, you can showcase different elements of data. So in this example, it looks like it's doing it on the uh, progress column, but we can change that again. So you click these little drop downs and then you click settings. So here it will say you can, you can select columns from your connected boards all at once. That's absolutely fine. Or you can do one by one, but we want all, all at once for now. Now, at the moment, this is reporting on status, but we could change it to priority if we wanted to. Here are all the available columns that we can have a battery widget on. So this is what I was talking about at the top of this video, how it's really, really important to kind of have an understanding of what you want to report on and make sure that those columns and that data is included in the underlying boards and projects, because if you don't have that in place, you literally will not be able to report on it. You can also just change some of the setting options uh, from this drop down here. Again, change the boards it's selected from, and again, you could go from the group. So this is really how to manipulate your dashboard. You go into the settings and adjust accordingly. So that's a battery. Uh, we could choose a Gantt chart if we wanted to. So here we can see uh, the Gantt for each of the projects. You can see the baseline if you wanted to. Um, and again, all of the manipulation comes in this settings cog. So, you know, you could change the grouping, you can change the labeling, the view settings, if you wanted to show dependencies, et cetera, et cetera. You can even put a critical path on there, change your colors. So there's everything, everything is via the settings tab. So what else can we do? Let me show you um, numbers quickly. So numbers is a widget that I haven't quite shown you. So this is showing a sum. Now, I'm not sure what it's summing at the moment, but we can manipulate, it can be, a, it can be we can put it in units, Maybe there's a percentage. We can move that to the left or to the right. So I'm going to put none for now. Here are the functions, sum, average, median, min, max, count. So they're all the different kind of uh, mathematical functions we can set up. Let's put it as sum for now. Now I'm not sure what it's summing. If I click this and then again settings, then it looks like, so this is summing the duration. So this, this, this widget is essentially saying that there's 66 days, if you like, of activities but we could do this as a budget. So this would be the budget for all of the projects. Let's close this off. And now I'm just gonna call this uh, total portfolio budget. Now you can also uh, filter as well, put some advanced filters on. So that would basically enable you to, if, if you like, just show certain projects within this particular view, you click on the filter button and then you can just change, you know, better chart. You choose one of your projects or boards and then you basically just specify your requirements and that'll put the filter onto uh, 
uh, the widget itself. So what I'd strongly recommend that you do, and then also one other thing I should show you, that's in the editing view, this is in the view um, screen as well, you can also do that. If you wanted to take, make any changes to the, the dashboard itself, then you can click on this icon here. Now this is where you can, again, manipulate the boards that are connected to the dashboard. Um, you can also, what's this here? You can also make some other changes to the column matching and things like that. So that's just kind of more of a, uh, a settings cog for the entire dashboard. What else do we have here? We can filter on specific people. So if specific people say you got a project manager, different project managers uh, for different projects, you could you could select. Um, let's just say I'm working on Project Alpha, Bob's working on Project Beta, and Bob's working on Project Charlie. If I if I filter if I filtered on myself, I'd only see the analysis for Project Alpha. If I filtered on Bob, then we would see the, the summations and the widgets displayed for Be Project Beta and Charlie. What else do we have? I'm just trying to think what else I can show you. What I strongly recommend is that, yeah, check out the apps. If you're building a, a dashboard, check all this out and essentially just go through all the widgets and just have a little look um, at what's available to you. Um, obviously, it depends on what you want to, to show. Let's just have a quick workload. This is essentially it. And then it's just a matter of kind of moving the widgets around to, to, to showcase what you want and to make a, obviously it depends on what stakeholders you'll be showing this to or sharing it with or who will be using this, but ultimately you want this to be, um, you know, it needs to have a nice logical flow, it needs to make sense, put the kind of high level information at the top, so you know, total portfolio budget would be really, really good, a portfolio over, overview would be really, really good, and then this would be something like um, task activity. So you, what, basically what you want to do is have, yeah, the high level summary at the top and then delve into the specifics below. Because obviously if you're scrolling down, um, then you may want to, you know, leave the less important information at the bottom. You might even want to consider having uh, port, um, dashboards for different stakeholders uh, and then you could show different things on different dashboards. So as an example, let's just say this is for senior management. They might want to see all the high level numbers. Then you might want to have a more granular dashboard for team members to see kind of their tasks and their activities and you might even want to put filters on by the people and things like that so that's essentially how to create a dashboard in monday.com um, one other thing i could perhaps mention is this is the dashboard here what you can also do is you can duplicate it so let's just say uh, you created a really really nice dashboard but you wanted to change a few things or a few settings then don't be afraid to duplicate it rename it and then just go into the widgets and update them accordingly. That can save you a lot of time. You can change to private here, you can rename, etc., etc., or you delete it if you're not happy with your dashboard. So that's how to create dashboards in monday.com. I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback on creating dashboards in monday.com, drop them down below and I'll get back to you. And with that said, over to you. All of the best for your projects and your dashboards, and I hope you have an excellent day.